hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you one tool which is going to help you in cg compositing and uh, this tool is made by one of my friends shubham i will put the link in the video description so where you can download this one so this is the tool called light fusion and it's basically based on the light passes if you get uh, any cg render you also get some light passes so if you have a cg render and it's, it's including with light passes then you can use this one and if you have uh, like shader passes then unfortunately this is not made for shader passes this is just for light passes i will also show you what light passes this is expecting so you can download this one for free and you can use in your nuke for this example for this tool demo i have a couple of renders so this is the render which shivam is provided to me so i can demonstrate this tool for you and this is the another forest render which i have so i think i need to add a frame hold because this is a full animation and by the way this is one of my uh, course which i am working on currently so 250 frames if i go to the last frame so this is the forest this is not a complete forest this is just uh, two passes which i merge together just to show you this uh, light fusion how you can use this one in your render so here you can download uh, this tool i will share this link so where you can download from this link this is from shubham link so you can see all the other tools which he have so make sure you go to the github and where you can easily download and you can also see how you can you know install this one it's pretty easy to install so once you install this one if you search light fusion you will see it's coming here but if i press ok it says no node select you need to select your exr then you can access so for this one i created this stamp so i can put the stamp here so this is my render and let's press let's add a layer contact sheet so you can see we have these passes here enable the rename and so these are the passes in this uh, render we have so these are the light passes uh, in this render we have this is the first light pass second third and fourth so uh, let's delete this one and let's select this one and let's add a light fusion and this pop-up will come up and here you need to select the light passes like this one if i select this albedo and diffuse color diffuse lighting it will not gonna work you only need to select light passes and then submit and you see this pretty good uh, node is coming up with this color thing i don't know how we added but it looks pretty good and if i if you view this one and for you here you can see they both are looking exactly the same because this is just a, a beauty rebuild with light passes so if you open this one first thing you will see this is the light fusion version 2.1 by shivam sony and these are the all lights name which i have in this uh, exr you can see all these names are here it's properly labeled you can see the basic control we have here you have this uh, let's view this so we have this light exposure this light one so if you want to just only view this certain light you can just click on view and now i can view only this light the same way you can mute the light this light is no longer contributing and you can like if i do a lot of cc here you can just turn off the cc and you can see the raw light like this one that is this and if i press ctrl and click on any of this uh, slider it will do undo operation so this is the all the light you can see this is light 2 this is the light 3 this is the light 4 so let's expose this one you can see i can expose this one i can add a gamma to exaggerate this thing so light 3 so this is this blue light so i'm exposing this blue light again down let me expose and i can go to the gain and instead of blue i can make it purple like this and i can view this one now you can see that this is the purple light and i can change the exposure separately so this is exposure for brightness gain for color and gamma is just a gamma and the saturation all those things are there so this is pretty cool and so this is the tool so let's see how this will look in this forest one so i'm just pressing f8 i'm using a stamp here so let's select this one light fusion so here we have one two three yeah zero, four passes four light passes and these are all uh, shader passes as i said shader passes is not gonna work you need a light passes so if i press ok now i view this one you can see it's one to one rebuild there are some issues in the alpha that's why you see this different but overall it's pretty good so if i open this one now we have this light passes so this is the light zero light one two and three in two and three in this frame you're not able to see because in the initial frame they are visible in this frame only uh, zero and one is visible i can expose down this light or i can expose down this one i can add a gamma and all those things 
so you can also see you can open this tool this is a tool set so if i go inside if you want to do more control over here like if you want to do more more stuff like if you want to use some mask cryptomats you can use here so that's why he made this like this you can go inside this tool is made to do a basic correction here like this overall correction right and then you can jump inside and you can do more uh, local treatment here you can take a mask you can take a position mask you can do a crypto mat and you can do correction in every light and this is a very basic setup in this light fusion and you have this extra pipe here so you can take a mask input from your crypto mat or position path or whatever if you are using a ap color mat ap ap mat or something so you can connect here and you can make a position mat or something like that so this is this for input and this is very basic uh, shader rebuild let me just quickly show you so what he basically did he did he uh, shuffle out all the passes and he merged everything together and you and in this side you can see we have separate pipe here so here what we are doing he just plusing everything you can see with the header input and it's taking from here not from the color correction we are need to we need to take from the where the shuffle is so it is taking from here and then we are minusing uh, minus or from it's the same operation okay so here we are minusing from the beauty and whatever the left left over is it's a missing pass so we are just merging this thing and, and currently it's off so if i go back to my light fusion and here we have this option here in the bottom so let me undo this cc so we can see it's not matching exactly so if i view this this is the leftover pass and if i merge this one so i think now it will match one to one so now you can see if i'm doing one two now it's totally matching one to one so if you have some missing passes in your light passes then you can turn and off this one so now it will match one to one you can view this one also so this is the leftover pass you can see this much of data we don't have in that uh, uh, multi light this is the multi light so what is the multi light exactly let's view this one this is a very good example uh, let's view the light uh, light fusion and from here i can just enable so this is the rg so this is a light one if i uh, view only light one so the idea is uh, this thing is coming from the actual render and the light passes is basically including your diffuse color the specs indirect lighting everything whatever that light is hitting this object it will calculate everything including the bounce light you can see this light is directly hitting here but you can see the bounce light here and here everywhere right so same similarly to other light so this is this side this side light you can see whatever is hitting the bounce light and everything shadows everything is coming here in this side also so all these lights are combined you get your beauty render like this i don't know i think this uh this first light is uh, is environment or a hdr light but is including the bounce light you need to include all the multi light which can rebuild your cg so in this case if i merge all these multi light i get my cg rebuild like this so i think i did some correction somewhere here so not not sure i'm doing one and two and it's matching one to one so uh, you need to uh, see that how it's going to work so i think this exposure need to be zero now it will merge it will look exactly the same as my beauty layer so if you have a light pass then this tool is very helpful i will use this one so and it's totally free make sure you go and download this one and just open this one and you can tweak the local base color correction if you want to do with the uh, uh, mat or crypto mat and some roto mask or whatever so it's very simple tool and that's why i like this one and in the future i think he will uh, make another one just for the this passes like a diffuse color and all those things we have right but the problem is uh, the naming so there are a, a different naming here he will figure it out just like he did for, for the light passes so highly recommend this tool is very nice and just go and download this one it's it will definitely improve your you know workflow and basically clean up some stuff so instead of you know big cg rebuild here you have this very nice tool which you have a pretty good control over in every passes so make sure to download this light fusion i will put the link in the video description where you can download this one for free and as always we will see you in a very next one thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support